Perched on the shores of Waterford, Connecticut, Millstone Power Station is a nuclear plant with a history that includes federal felony convictions. Yet it quietly provides half the state's electricity and more than 90% of its carbon-free power. The plant opened in 1970 on the site of an old granite quarry. That quarry pit is now part of the plant's cooling system, where water from the reactors is discharged into the sound. Inside, uranium fuel rods heat water into steam, the steam spins turbines, and those turbines generate enough electricity to power two million homes. All spent nuclear fuel is stored on site in steel and concrete casks. In the 1990s, Millstone was at the center of a major safety scandal. Operators falsified records, skipped mandatory training, and left unqualified staff running critical systems. It led to felony convictions, a $10 million federal fine, and a temporary shutdown of operations. Dominion Energy took over in 2000, and today, safety is the top priority. Once a year, the plant runs a full-scale simulated assault with military and law enforcement to test its security systems. Beyond energy, Millstone contributes $1.5 billion annually to Connecticut's economy, supports nearly 4,000 jobs, and funds about a third of Waterford's local tax base. The reactors are licensed through 2035 and 2045. What happens after that depends on energy markets, public policy, and political will.